Hey y'all, so today is July 1st. It's currently 10 o'clock. I have a 245 client and I want to film some content. Um, because I want to get like cute and stuff for today because I have plans on later this afternoon, so I want to actually look good for the day. So I'm planning to shoot a summer body care routine, a hair tutorial, and possibly a life update. So I the aim is to get out of here by 1:30. So let's see if I can get all of this done from 10 to 1:30. All right, y'all. So I was able to film a shower care, body care, summer glowy body routine. So definitely be sure to check that out. Now I'm about to do this like curly ponytail. Um, I still want to try to get in my life update. Um, it's 12.23 and I want to leave here by 1.50 and I do think that's possible if I get my this ponytail in my head in the next 30 minutes. So let's see what we can get done. What's up y'all? Okay, it's currently 1.44 so I have a 245 appointment, so I'm praying and that it's not some crazy traffic that's gonna impair me from getting to where I need to get. Y'all, my camera just took a tumble. I really gotta get a um <laughs> I really gotta get a card mount or a car tripod, whatever it's called. I gotta get one ASAP, no Rocky. Let me try to put y'all somewhere else. I'm gonna just hold the camera real quick while I give y'all a quick little update. So I was able to film two videos, my shower care routine and then this ponytail that I use using my Imani Beauty clip-ins and the texture Trini Curl. I really like this ponytail look. I'm honestly not gonna keep this in long because I did it on wet hair. When you do ponytails on wet hair, it starts to smell like mildew. So this is like a, day, a style that you can do for one or two days. I wouldn't recommend anything longer than that because like a few years ago, I wore this style for like two days, three days, I'm damn near a week and it, it was smelling crazy. So I don't recommend that you um, do that for too long. So I'm going to my one client this afternoon and then after, I'm gonna try to film um, some content in the hair salon real quick, like a little OOTD because I got a cute little outfit and do my makeup and then, um, um, afterwards my boyfriend and I are supposed to be going to like this concert festival I don't know it's like an orchestra symphony type of vibe it's just something chill and cute in the park so we're gonna just hang out and that's really that my little cousin made me some fruit salad it's some um, yellow watermelon some regular red watermelon blueberries and strawberries this is my first meal of the day so she packed me a lot of fruit though so I fuck with that but yeah, I will just get back in touch with y'all once I'm there because this is not safe at all for me to be um, driving like this. So I'll talk to y'all later. What's up y'all? So I made it to the salon and I'm on time. Y'all just don't know how good it feels when you're at one time. And my papers are clearly slipping off my head. Let me just let them be free. I'm gonna show y'all a little sneak peek of my outfit. All right, so this is my outfit. This top is from Zara, pants are Zara. And then these shoes are from a brand called Yumi Yumi. It's just a real simple outfit, y'all. I wanted to wear this like little crop button now. It's it's too hot outside. It's the, when I tell y'all, I don't know what's well, I do know what's going on. I guess the air quality bad, forest fires, all of that stuff is affecting us right now. I can't deal with that. When I get hot, I get real angry. It make me want to like, I don't know, like bite people and stuff. So I'm just trying to stay as cool as possible. <laughs> I think after I'm done with this client, and all she's coming today, I think is in getting is a wash, deep condition, blowout, and a trim. So that's gonna be like an hour. Um, I'm gonna go get me one of them ICs from, well, snowballs from the snowball stand, and then me and my boyfriend go into that little thing that we're gonna go to. So I will keep y'all posted on, you know, y'all know the deal. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. I'm gonna tune in with y'all, and we're gonna do what we do. stop polluting and cutting down trees and I don't know what else I don't know what's causing all of this but it's hot like it's really getting crazy out here but it's currently 525 I finished with my client I filmed some like an intro to this ponytail video and then I did like a TikTok reel 
Instagram content of my little outfit of the day. So it seems like it's gonna rain, maybe, potentially, but we're still gonna go on with our move. I'm about to go meet up with my boo and then we're gonna go get something to eat and then we're gonna head to the festival because I think it's going on, let me stop calling it a festival. Everything ain't no damn festival. We're going to the event. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go to the event and then I think that's it. So y'all will just come along with me for the day. y'all so today is july 3rd it is currently 1 36 8 no not a.m p.m i'm at Publix right now because i'm about to get um me and my little boo some food for the road because we're actually about to head to louisiana um for the week for the holiday and to celebrate um some family time so i'm excited because this is our second road trip together and i think it'll be fun because the last one was fun so i think this will be fun so i'm at Publix, about to get some subs and some stuff and then we're gonna hit the road soon so let's go get this stuff real quick i have secured the remainder of our snacks um, I don't know about y'all, but like I love shopping at Publix. I don't care how busy it be in there. And mind you, I hate when places be hella busy. Like that gives me like anxiety. But something about Publix, I will stand in that long ass line for that sub. I will I will grocery shop if it's 30 million people in there. It's just an uh, elevated experience for me in Publix. I love it. Like I love Kroger. I'm gonna go to Kroger to get my necessities. I'm gonna shop at Kroger because I have to shop at Kroger. But I'm gonna go to Publix and I'm, a, I'm I'll be in there for an hour. And I'll be okay with it. But so I got the groceries and we about to hit the road. So I'm excited. Cause I haven't been to Louisiana since 20, since COVID hit. So 2020. So it's been damn, it's been three years. And we're gonna like visit Louisiana, not Louisiana, we're gonna visit um New Orleans as well. So I'm excited to eat, y'all. I don't know, some people, them Creole Cajun people in new orleans louisiana y'all be doing what y'all gotta do on that food so i'm excited to to indulge in that but let me put this camera down because you know you're not supposed to be doing this and i did get stopped by the police once and it was like i'm gonna give you a warning but you have to put that phone out your hand and i'm like you really need to mind your business but you're right this is a hazard so i will talk to y'all when i'm the passenger princess all right do y'all want a road trip snack haul because i'm gonna give y'all one so the snacks going up from walmart the other day we got us some Doritos. It's the family size. Um, the spicy sweet chili. I like those. I'm more of a hot nacho D Dorito girl. I like all like hot spicy food. That's what I love. But those would shall suffice. <laughs> and then <laughs> some Nutri Grain bars, the um, apple cinnamon ones. I like that flavor. I be trying not to snacky snack as much. So I heard those are supposed to be healthier for you. But honestly, they probably got just as much processed sugar as other shit. All right, Publix time. Rice Krispie Treats is definitely my snack of choice, like when I'm out of town. Like, do I buy these in my groceries all the time? No, but do I like them when I'm like in a different state or I'm in a car? It just do something for me. I got um, Bay, these little Albanese gummy worms. These are really like elite gummy worms. They taste good, they taste like natural. They don't taste like super artificial. I've been eating these for a while because they used to sell them at TJ Maxx and I would buy like the real big bags. I'm like, oh, they did that. So I got some of those and then I got some gushers for me. I got the six pack because I was like, you know, you really don't need to be eating that, but I did want a little, you know, a little treat. So that's my truth. <laughs> I got, um, we got a chicken tender sub, a buffalo chicken tender sub from um, Publix. And then I got a Cajun turkey sub. I got some fruit salad because healthy. It has um, mango. I think it's mango, pineapple, strawberry, raspberry, blueberry. You know, I just like to get the little mixed fruit salad. And then I got myself some raspberry flavored lemonade or some raspberry lemonade from Publix, the Publix brand. And I got Bay two natural juices. He likes the Arden Garden. So I got him some beet juice and then some green juice. So we are ready for the road. 
I'm ready to eat this sandwich and I'm ready to, I don't know, I like road trips. I grew up going on road trips a lot, so I feel like they'd be fun. I like to take my time. I don't like to rush through the road trip. Like growing up, we would like road trip to New York and my daddy was like always trying to get us there and like would not stop. And I was like, this is 13, 14 hours in the car. We have to like go to a rest area, get some food, sit down. We didn't do that a lot, but we kind of, me and Doran, we kind of just been like, we take our time with our road trips. So I really appreciate that. So I'm excited and we got snacks. I should have downloaded a movie, but, and I left my book at home. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for real to entertain myself, but I'm sure I will figure it out. But I will see you all. I'll catch back up with you all when we get somewhere. So I'll see y'all soon. What's up y'all? So we are currently in Alabama. It is currently 3.49. We did get on the road around like two, so, but the time went back. So it's technically like if we were in Atlanta, it would be four. So we've been on the road for about four hours. So we're at Bucky's right now. And I got a little slurpy, a little slushy. And then we picked up some pecans because we don't really need nothing else from here. So we just getting some gas and then and we're about to just keep on trucking on the road. I was honestly taking me a little nap because I don't know, something about the road sometimes making me a little sleepy. So I had to get some rest and I didn't get a nap yesterday. And I'm very much like on the weekends, I definitely try to get me a little nap in and that didn't happen. But I'm low key up now and I'm really kind of regretting not bringing my book because this is gonna be a longer ride and I definitely want something to entertain myself but I honestly might download something on um Kindle so I have something to read this month and I've been saying I wanted to complete this goal for like maybe the past year but I do want to like read three books a month so maybe I'll find something on Kindle that I can read that's free and I'll read that so if I do end up reading something I will let you guys know but that's really it I'll just check back in with you all if anything new is happening so I'll see y'all later What's up y'all? So it is currently 9.01. We are um, we just finished eating canes in the car. And I think we're about like a we're not too far out. I think we like maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes out from where we're going. So I'm excited. I've been asleep most of the um <laughs> most of the drive, but I did just drive like an hour. Cause I'm like, let me get this man a break. Cause it's probably like a six, seven hour drive. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't even been a good passenger princess. I ain't even been up. So let me just, you know, let me do a little thumb thumb. But my waist beads are about to pop. Like we that I'm full. But we've been having like little snacks and stuff for this whole ride. So I'm glad I wasn't really like hungry, but that definitely hit the spot. But but that's it. I just wanted to come and check in with y'all. As y'all can see, the sun is down, it's dark, it's later in the evening. But we've been just taking our time to get there. And tomorrow is the fourth. So I think I'll have some energy for tomorrow since I was able to like kind of sleep most of the ride. I'm not like super tired. I'm not exhausted from travel. So I will most likely talk to you all in the morning because once we get in, I'm sure we're gonna be like, you know, catching up, hugging, talking and stuff like that. I will catch up with you all in the morning. What's up y'all? So today is Wednesday, July 5th. Y'all, it's about, it's like 1.43 here. It's been hot and I've been sleeping. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. So that's why I really didn't vlog yesterday because I was knocked out. I was sipping on some Crown and Coke and I was passed out on the couch. But today um, is the 5th, it's Wednesday. And I think we're about to go and get some brunch. And then I think we're gonna head to um, New Orleans a little bit later. So I'm excited because I'm hungry. I've been eating good. So I just wanted to come in and check in with y'all let y'all know what's been going on. But it ain't been too much of nothing. So, but I will show y'all when, you know, things turn up a little bit. But just know it's been cool. And I hope that you guys' week has been cool so far. Um, it's a little later than the day. Where do we go for lunch? Haran's. It was really good. I really had, good. Told up. I had um, catfish with etouffee on top. I had uh, pasta with shrimp, crawfish, and dewey sausage, all kind of stuff. It was, it was good. really good. I'm not sure it was ready. All right, y'all, we had a snowball stand. Oh, <laughs> we had a um, snowball stand called Snowball, Snowman Snowballs. We got some snowballs and then we got some nachos <laughs> so this is what we doing we about to hit the road to go to new orleans how you feeling i'm feeling great i'm gonna tell you nachos up let me let you do that's how you feeling I'm let me let you do your thing but i just wanted to check in with y'all and show y'all what we was doing it ain't much nothing but we having a good time having a good time in the deep south of baton rouge you know had to bring my dog with me she killing it thank you thank you thank you oh, that look good 
What right, you was telling them? You had to bring your, your dog to the south? I had to bring my queen with me back to my stomping grounds of Baton Rouge. So it was cool. She kicked it with my dad, my brother, a few other people. So it's been a good time for sure. Thank you for having me. I'm blessed to have you here with me for sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we leaving the snowball stand. Yes. It was a great, great time. Great experience. Oh, what did I get? Strawberry? Strawberry cheesecake? Yeah, I got stra the strawberry flavor and this stuff with a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And you got... I, got, I ended up getting... So I wanted mango peach daiquiri with the condensed milk, but then the guy was like, you know what? That sound cool, but nah, try this. So I ended up getting mango candy apple mm -hmm. with a condensed milk, and that was a great was choice. Good. So great adjustment by my mans up there, so... And then we got some really little nachos. And we got some nachos just because we used to that, you know? <laughs> So that was good. So, what time is it now? It's about 7.14, and I think he said it takes about an hour to get to New Orleans, so. Yep. I will show you guys some scenic views, but we about to hit the road, so I will, what you about to say? I'm just looking at you, do your thing. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys once we get to New Orleans. Peace out. What up, y'all? We made it to New Orleans, we in a hotel. It's like, what time is it? It's, it's like 8.40 something, so we finna Look get settled. This view. It's a nice little view. <laughs> we um We about to get settled in the room and then, I think we're gonna go to the French Quarter or something. I don't know, we about to do something though, cause we not, some, we not old yet. We forever young, so we gonna probably find something that we can get into. What? We not old yet. <laughs> we not old yet. <laughs> we not old just yet. No. We didn't do an outfit of the day. Doran, show me your outfit. Yeah. Shout out to Fee, baby. So, a lot of this fitted I just got uh, like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I love Pleasures, nice brand. I think these are from H&M, very cozy. Mm -hmm. Docs, mm -hmm. very simple style, that's just me. You're not simple, baby, you're cute. Thank you, appreciate it. You're this welcome. is some cozy. Um, I guess all black wasn't the best move for this Baton Rouge heat, but... You, you was hot? I was a little bit hot. Okay. A little bit, but I like the whole ensemble, you know what I'm saying? So I had to keep it together. But. You look fine to me, too. Thank you. You look fine to me, too, behind that camera. All right, now. I want to see you now. Hold on, now. Turn that camera now. Shut up, now. <laughs> I'll show y'all my outfit of the day um, when I put my sneakers back on. But let's get settled, and then we'll... Well, we could eat. All right, y'all, we're about to go and get something to eat before this restaurant closes. But I want to show y'all my quick outfit of the day. Mm. It's very simple. White bodysuit. High waist shorts from Zara. These little Asics. Little runners. And my little tail far. And that's that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Sacconis. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Sacconis. these is not Asics. Sacconis. These are Sacconis. I really like these shoes. Like, I be wearing them to work. But I also just... They're just a very comfortable shoe. Like, I feel like you can run in them, ride a bike in them. You can do a lot in them, so. They look real good. Thank you. If you've been considering getting you some, I would definitely get you some. Today is July 6th, and we are about to go and get something to eat, a little brunch before we check out a little bit later. So I'll show you guys what we eat soon. All right, y'all, so we're gonna do a quick OOTD. My outfit is very simple today. I just wanted something quick that I could throw on and look cute for brunch. So I'm wearing this dress from Aritzia. I actually got it while we were in Nashville. It's very comfortable. I have it in this shade as well as in black. Get them ankles back. What the heels talking about? What okay, the so the heels about? are from Ego. They're just some gold sandals. 
I'm about to change it to some other sandals because this is cute. <laughs> this is for the picture. That's it. And I just got on this cute little purse that I got from um, Target. And that's it. Sandals is on the feet because my toes is sliding out of them heels. <laughs> Thanks, baby. I appreciate that. I like the outfit. You want some nails? Thank you. He got on his pleasure shirt. All right, y'all. So it's currently. 11.33, 11.34. We got a little late checkout for 12. So we about to head up, put our stuff on the cart, and then do a little more exploration and then get on the road. Ruby slipper, y'all slipping. Fact. It wasn't that good. Like my food was okay, but that was about it. I, if it was a scale of one to 10, they probably would get a six. What'd you think? Or that's t being generous. I think generous is like 5.5, .5, really. I, that's what I was really leaning towards. And we try not to be critical people, but we like good food and that just, it wasn't good. It was very busy. The last time I came to New Orleans, I think that was in 2020. It was very, like I had, I enjoyed my food. It was a good experience. The customer service was great. The food was great. We didn't have any complaints today that that food just wasn't here, if I'm being real. So we're gonna go back to the hotel, pack up our belongings, gather our bearings. And then I think we're gonna go get some beignets and some coffee. And then we'll just be on the road. So I'll just keep you all posted on the things that we do for the rest of the day. All right, y'all, it is 102. No, it's not, that's our old time. It is 11.57 Central Time. So our checkout was for 12 and we got out early, y'all. We getting real efficient with our travel, our packing for our travel, just everything. So I'm really proud of us because we're getting better at what we do. So like I said, we probably about to go to Cafe Du Monde. I want some oysters. So I'm gonna see if we go get some oysters. But he said he wanna go see the beach and like go to like a little shopping plaza um, on the Gulf Coast. So that's probably what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna hit the road. We probably won't get back until a little bit later in the evening, which is completely fine. I have two clients tomorrow, but I'll probably sleep in the car. I'll be rested. I'll be completely fine for um, tomorrow. But I just want to check in with y'all and just say hello. And then I'll catch back up with y'all when we get to where we get. All right, y'all, so I got an iced coffee. <laughs> what? I was gonna say Cafe Ole. I don't know how to say that shit. I'm cafe Ole. I've got an iced Cafe Ole. I got the hot Cafe Ole. And we got three beignets. This don't taste like nothing. But that's also probably my fault. I should grab some sugar and stuff. But all they had out there was like Splenda and shit. I'd rather just go like go straight and put that nasty shit in there. I don't taste like nothing. I know they wrong all this powdered sugar. They want the people to be fat. No, for real. This was not a good idea to eat this in this car. Oh, we got napkins. Hold that's on. true, that's true. Napkins sponsored by Canes. <laughs> uh, we gonna, we gonna do a little toast? We gonna toast it. We gonna toast it. That's cute. That's cute. Mwah. Mmm. That's good. All right, y'all, the beignet is good. I'll talk to y'all later. y'all so it is currently 8 40 i have a 9 30 a.m appointment and i am headed to the shop but i'm picking up some starburst <laughs> but i'm picking up some starbucks first i just ordered a croissant and a matcha i should have got a shot of espresso because but i mean you really don't need a shot of espresso because matcha also has caffeine in it but i feel like it just kind of get me amped up just a little bit i got home around like 11 last night so that wasn't too bad so i just have one client today i did have two clients but my um last client she asked to reschedule to the end of this month so i'm getting me some braids after my first client is done i'm getting some um like some long knotless i think i'm gonna do tr like a tribal style in the front um and then do long knotless in the back and then once that starts looking fuzzy in like the next two weeks because i have a trip to miami at the end of this month i'm just going to take those out and then just get knotless in the front if that makes sense so it's kind of like i got two styles in one month but um yeah that's really it i will see you all when i'm with my client maybe all right y'all so i'm done with my client for the day it is currently 2 18. i'm not getting my hair done today we rescheduled for monday so i'm about to get something to eat head home and i think i want to do some grocery shopping today what's up y'all what's up y'all it is currently like 2 40 ish i've been doing my client for a little minute now um but I was just like sitting around watching YouTube and stuff cause well, I really don't know why I was doing that. But um, y'all know I was supposed to be getting my hair braided today, but we have rescheduled that appointment 
for Monday, which is cool because that gives me a lot more time to actually like prep my hair, deep condition my hair, trim my hair how I want to. So that's something I will be getting into Sunday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> and that reschedule also gives me some time to get some things that I need to get done today or I want to get done today because my car, a mess. My life, it's really a mess, but when is it not? We always, I feel like being an adult is constantly getting your life in order. So I gotta go meet my boyfriend real quick because I left my, um, y'all I'm sorry, I'm scratching my legs up so bad because I got bit up. I got bit up so bad in, in Louisiana. Like, them bugs was really eating me up. But no, I left my, um, I left my wallet in his car. So I've been riding around dirty this morning. So I'm gonna go pick that up. I need to put some gas in my car first. Go pick up my wallet and then get some lunch. I'm gonna go home, do some cleaning up. I wanna take Brooke out and just kinda do some play. It is a little warm outside, but I haven't seen her for a few days and I miss my baby and I want us to kinda, you know, have some human dog interaction. <laughs> so, and and I think that's about it. I wanna, I wanna go grocery shopping today. We'll see the likelihood of that. If I don't go today, I will go Sunday morning because I have three clients tomorrow. So it'll probably be Sunday morning because I'm supposed to be going to, well, I'm not supposed to be. I am going to a Larry June concert Sunday with my boo. So I either do my grocery shopping tonight or Sunday, but I definitely don't want to go into the next week or just the, you know, this month in general, eating out, eating out, eating out, eating out. I need to get, I need to do some juicing. I need to drink my kombucha. I need to eat my vegetables. I need to cook at home. So let me put some gas in this car, baby, because it's on ee -E, like ee <laughs> -E. so let me do that and then um i'll just catch up with you guys a little bit later good morning y'all so today is saturday july 8th or 9th it's july 8th it's currently 8 50 a.m i have a 9 a.m appointment um and i'm about to get off of my exit so that i can be there for my appointment i'm like three minutes away I had to pick up um, some product from Cosmoprof this morning for this appointment and just some stuff to restock the salon suite. And then I also picked up some products some of you all were asking me to test out. They had them at Cosmoprof on sale. They had like a little trial kit. It's the brand AG. Um, I see a lot of naturals use it and a lot of like curly stylists they recommend it to their, to their clients. So I definitely wanted to give it a try because I do like to kind of Although I've talked about not trying to be a product junkie, I do like to test out things that I can recommend to my clients because some stuff may work on some people's hair and some things may not. And I also just like to have a category of products to pull from um, just to kind of share that knowledge with other people. But today is a light day, but not really. I mean, I have three clients this morning. I have a root retouch. My client just let me know last night that she didn't, she didn't want to style her hair. She just wanted to touch up her roots. So a double process root retouch, which essentially means I'm gonna lift her hair and then deposit color. I have a twist out and then I have a silk press. So it's light work, honestly. The days that be like really crazy is when it's like you doing a full head of color and then you got another client that's coming in for some tape ends. It's not one of those days, it's kind of light. So um, I hope I can still get out while the sun is out and actually get back home and do some of the things that I said that I wanted to do yesterday, today. Um, I think that's it for now. Yesterday, that food from that restaurant I went to, Pollo Primo, it was actually very, very good. Like, that chicken was good. The rice, the beans, the tortillas, the churros, everything was bomb. They could have marinated the chicken just a little bit more. That is my only complaint, but honestly, that's like an 8.5 out of 10, if I'm being very, very honest. That's really it, y'all. Um, I will show you guys for real, for real, some um, actual behind the scenes of like some of the stuff that I do today with my clients. I got my little tripod and I got my lights set up so you guys will be able to see. Cause I know I'll be saying, let me show y'all, but then sometimes I'm like, I ain't even finna set up that camera. But I will show you guys a little something, something today and I hope you all enjoy. Talk to y'all soon. So today is July the 9th. It is currently like 7.42 p.m. 
I'll be honest with y'all, I was asleep all day. Like, been passed out. My head was hurting. It was hot in the house. I felt dehydrated. I'm drinking coconut water now, trying to get in some electrolytes, but yeah, I've been asleep all day. But it's about to be eight o'clock, and I think the concert we're going to start at eight o'clock, but you know how black people are. We just, we move on our own time. So yeah, me and my boo about to go see Larry June. I probably know two or three songs, but I'm just here for support. And I, honestly, I really think it'll be a good concert because I do like um, Larry June's music. So I'm excited. I'll do a little OTD once I get um, stationary. My little cousin told me she did not like my outfit because the shirt I got on is not the same color pink and I don't got on, I don't have black in my shoes. I'm like, I don't, y'all be making up too much fashion rules. It's not that serious. But y'all tell me if it's not matching in the comments when y'all see my outfit. And honestly, I'm ready to get my hair done next week or this week coming up because this bun is tired. And I be preaching to the people, don't be wearing your buns too much. And I, I've been wearing this bun a little bit too much. So I got to put it to rest. So I think tomorrow, my friend want me to come get my hair done tomorrow, which I really should if I'm being honest. I'll probably just go a little bit like later because I do need to wash, condition, trim, and all of that to my hair. So maybe I can like go by like 10, 30, 11. We will see, but um, I'll show y'all my fit, like I said, once I get set up and I'll talk to y'all soon. Give us the OOTD, baby. <laughs> okay, perfect. So half zipper by Ben Davis. Love this brand, it's really dope. Mm -hmm. um, Dickies Cargos, black. Then the lemon pepper step is the Doc Martens, you know. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like my usual uniform. Kind of industrial R&B mechanic look like, you know what I'm saying? So mechanic. That's my that's my vibe. But this is what I got going on. You look good, baby. Ooh, thank you. You look good too. Thank you. They need to see all that too. All right, you can show them. Thank you. Oh, boom. My outfit is very basic. This little Zara top, tail far bag, mm. Zara shorts, and my dunks. And dunks. My little cute, colorful dunks. That's it, y'all. I just want to be comfortable for the concert. So yeah, we're here.